Hey guys, it's Laura. This video is something that a lot of people have asked me questions about, whether it be on Instagram, on Twitter, on Snapchat, on whatever it is, but a lot of people have asked me how I've lost so much weight. These are some pictures of what my body looked like before. And I'm gonna show you what my body looks like now. Losing weight was a big process for me. It took a couple years. I don't know if it was me losing my baby fat from when I was a teenager and if like my body at 16 and 17 just gained a little weight because of the teenage years. I don't know if that's what it was or if it was because now I've adopted this healthy lifestyle, but I would like to assume it was a combination of both. But I cannot be 100% sure, but I definitely have made a lot of changes in my diet, my exercise, and most importantly, my mentality about diet and health and exercise. And I'm going to walk you guys through everything. It's been a long process for me to get to where I am now with my body. Yeah, I'm happy to walk you guys through that process, what it looked like for me. And I'm not a dietitian. I'm not saying that what I'm saying is gonna be the best for you, but this is what worked for me. And if you learn a tip or two, and if it helps you in some way, then that's really great, and that's why I'm here, and that's why I'm happy to make this video for you guys. So moving to LA really made me more aware of my body as a whole. I think here it's really, really glamorized to be skinny, obviously. I mean, maybe not as much now as in the old days, because I feel like in the old days it was like the coolest thing to be stick skinny or like model skinny, which I mean, it still is glamorized, here, but also here people idolize like big boobs and a big ass. I don't even know, it's confusing, but definitely living here has made me much more conscious of my body. Also here there's so many different options for restaurants and like healthy choices of food that I didn't really have that much access to in Miami where literally the food in Miami is savage, but in a good way, like in the best way. Like when I go to Miami, I pig out. But here there definitely is more healthy options, um, but I'm sure in your hometowns, wherever you guys live, there are options as well. So I've lost about 15 pounds. That's like a rough estimate. I remember when I was trying to figure it out, probably the year before last year, I was trying to figure out ways to be skinny and to lose weight. I was like obsessed with it because I felt so uncomfortable in my own body for a period of time. Um, I definitely tried ways of losing weight that were not healthy, whether it be eating like nothing for a week or like barely eating enough to survive and like my stomach killing me, being miserable, and then at the end of the week feeling skinny, and then like you get over it, and then the next week I was like binge eating things because I was like, oh my god, I lost two pounds, time to eat everything I've ever seen in my life, and no. I tried like those, um, the press juice things, like literally not eating for a week and drinking juice instead, and all those things, and if that is what works for you, that is great, but that is not what I have found works for me in the long run. I really genuinely found a way to keep my body in a way that I like it, in a really healthy way. So I moved into this building that I live in now about a year ago, and my building has Equinox in the lobby. If you don't know what Equinox is, it's a gym. And it has Equinox in the lobby, so I started to go all the time to the gym because I was like, you know what, there's no reason for me not to go to the gym, it's literally in my lobby. And at first, I was that person who hated the gym and just went to the gym because I wanted to be popping, and I just didn't enjoy it at all. Like, the treadmill killed me, everything killed me, I was so out of shape that it was ridiculous. I couldn't do anything and like seriously I would go on the treadmill for like 25 minutes and be dying So if you are currently one of those people that are so out of shape, there is hope. I'm so in shape right now I will come at you. It didn't come easy, but it it happened I started working out a couple times a week just doing simple things on the treadmill and I started really liking the feeling of First of all, I learned in Legally Blonde that it releases endorphins She's like happy people don't shoot their husband working out gives you endorphins So I was like, oh my god, maybe Reese Witherspoon was right this whole time not kidding That literally was what motivated me to work out, but it did and um, I found that the more that I worked out The more I could clear my head the more that I could take those 30 minutes on the treadmill to discover cool music on Spotify and listen and find good music and getting my feelings and just work it all out and it's I fell in love with it and when it comes to eating healthy I used to eat literally anything that tasted good I vividly remember going to in and out like three times a week so it was right by my house anything I would eat literally whatever I wanted when I would go to restaurants I would order a coke or a spray and that's fine but 
it was not a healthy way to live my life all the time because I felt lethargic, I felt unhealthy, I felt not happy with my body, it just wasn't good. But what I do now is very different, so today I work out, I want to say realistically five times a week, definitely not every single day, but I definitely like five times a week. And what I do is really simple and really easy to get done and get out of the way, and it's a really good start of the day for me, I love it. So what I do is I go on the treadmill and I put it on an incline of 12 and a speed of three and I do that for 30 minutes and that is perfect for me because I personally cannot run I mean I can but I don't love it and the incline is good for like losing weight and your butt and it's just good and I do that for 30 minutes and then what I'll do is I'll put it on the highest incline it goes on my treadmill it's 15 but on yours just put it on whatever the highest it goes and I put it at a speed of 1.5 and then I turn around and do it backwards for 10 minutes and what that does is it lifts your butt and makes it just like you know like sit there kind of on its own like all uh, hot you know literally the goal but that's what that does and it's like 10 minutes and it doesn't even take a lot of time so that's like my standard workout like my everyday standard bare minimum workout is just that and then what I'll do on days that I want to go ham is in between the 30 minutes that I'm going 12 incline on the treadmill I'll lower the incline and I'll run for two minutes straight and then I'll go back to the 12 incline and then I'll lower the incline run for two minutes straight and then go up on the 12 on the three speed again Which is called interval training. I believe I don't know if that's right But when you do that in intervals, it gets your heart rate going up and down which apparently is good for your body When it comes to things like machines in the gym, I'm not huge on them I'll really use them when I have like something that I want to look good for like if it's Coachella like two weeks before Coachella I'll start like doing the butt machine the arm machine that kind of deal, but I typically don't do machines and occasionally I'll do like squats and I'll do crunches and I'll do stuff like that but honestly all I really do is what I told you on the treadmill and it made a huge difference 30 or 45 minutes a day changes your body and it's so good for your mind and clearing your thoughts and staying happy and it's just ah uh, am I a fitness guru girl because I could talk about this forever when it comes to food on a typical day what I will do is I will walk to Trader Joe's which is next to my house and I will get a banana and a big bottle of alkaline water alkaline water is better for your skin for everything it's water that actually hydrates you I don't know really how to explain this but I'm gonna do my best but you know how in school they showed you water how there's a scale of basic or acidic or whatever I don't even really know but what I do know is that this water has more of the good kind you know but I'll eat the banana before I go on the treadmill so that I don't pass out literally because if I don't I will pass out and I'll take my huge bottle of alkaline water and sip on that the entire time and an example of a really quick easy healthy lunch from somewhere like a grocery store I'll get one of those rotisserie chickens that come already made I'll put it in my oven and I'll get quinoa that you could just pop into the microwave and then with the quinoa I'll add some taco seasoning so it doesn't taste like literally nothing and that's like a really healthy meal right there and that's one of the ones that I'll typically do if I'm not going to a restaurant but when it comes to restaurants the biggest change for me is I mean I don't do any kind of calorie counting or carb counting or any of that I don't understand it and it just no I don't do it what I do is I've just started to order healthier things even just that alone makes such a difference like the biggest difference I'll like order a salad or a salmon and on the topic of salads I learned to love salads. I used to never like salads, but once you start playing around with it and like moving out of your comfort zone, mine was Caesar. Um, once I started moving out of that comfort zone, I eased my way in with Chinese chicken salad. That was like my first salad that I started getting into after Caesar. And then I just started trying other ones and they were actually really good and I really like salad now. But for restaurants, it's literally just not going to super unhealthy restaurants and just choosing something that's a little healthier. I mean, I'll still occasionally eat junk food, but it's just not something that I do all the time. But every time I go to a restaurant, for the most part, I order water as my drink. I'll also try to go on hikes a lot. California has a really, really pretty hike. And I, again, I never thought I'd be the person to talk about hiking. I really just adapted a healthy lifestyle and treated it as the norm. I don't feel like I'm on a diet ever. I don't feel like I'm restricting myself from something. I don't feel like I have FOMO. If I want pasta, I'm gonna eat pasta. If I want a pizza, I'll just get like a margarita pizza or something, you know? I found that when I would go on diets, I would tell myself that I was on a diet and then be strict with it for two weeks, but then just knowing that you're on a diet psychologically made me feel I don't even know, and then the second that the diet was over or I lost a little bit of weight, I would like binge. Ever since just adopting a healthy lifestyle and really loving the way healthy food makes my body feel, it makes me feel so energized, so not lethargic and just sleepy like unhealthy food did. Ever since that, I've just really, really been happier with my body, happier with my life. Another thing that's really cool is that it's so fun to look in the mirror every morning and look at the little changes that your body's making in a good way, <laughs> not like 
picking out clothes that are gonna hide a part of your body that you don't like. I mean, it's just, that was the difference for me. I feel really confident in my own body now. Not even confident because I look better to the outside world or because I'm skinnier, but just confident because I know that I'm treating my body respectfully. And if there's the biggest piece of advice that I could give to you guys, it's to really just enjoy the process of being healthy. It's actually like fun to treat your body right. And that's really all I have been doing. I wanted to make a video about it because I get a lot of questions about it, but there's no diet pills that I'm taking. There's no water weight, any of that. I don't do any boot camps. I don't do any personal trainers. I really don't do any of that stuff. That is the honest truth. I wish I could give you guys more advice on things like that, but that just truthfully is not what I do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave comments of what you would like to see more of. I'm happy to do videos on what you guys want. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. Bye.